So today I've been given this really cool looking mech here and we can use it to dig underground so we can get all these nice resources like iron ore, copper ore, dig over to some coal and we just collect a whole bunch of those until our storage is full. So we use the little propeller blade and fly back up to the surface where we go over to the processing facility and we can sell it all for $425. Nice. And we already had $1,000 with us so we have $1,425. That's a lot. We need something to hold all of this money like a ridge wallet this video is sponsored by ridge the ridge wallet is the ultimate wallet for everyday use it can hold up to 12 cards with cash while staying slim compared to an old bulky wallet like your dad uses there's dozens of colors and styles to choose from and ridge is constantly adding more so anyone can find a wallet perfect for them they also have rings luggage and key cases to go with your wallet like this damascus set that looks absolutely amazing i've been using a ridge wallet for a few years now and i have been really happy with it it fits a lot better in my pocket while still holding all the cards I use in daily life. I also drive quite a bit and being able to put my wallet in my front pocket rather than my back one has made long car trips so much more comfortable. I'm glad to have them as a sponsor and share their products with you guys. And this year is Ridge's 11 year anniversary in the business. So to celebrate, they're offering up to 30% off for a limited time and rings are 20% off. Whether it's for that special someone or just as a fashion piece, this is the time to buy. Just go to ridge.com intern to check out their wide selection of designs and products. Big thanks to Ridge for sponsoring this video. And with all of our money, we go over to the maintenance station, fill back up on fuel, and with full things going, ooh, careful of the drop there, we can go back underground and start collecting more things. Like, ooh, lots of resources right here. We just have to be careful because we can't really dig up. Ooh, but there are some new things over there. Let's just dig over here, fly up to here quickly. Excellent. Silver ore. Ooh, that should be worth a lot. Definitely want to collect that. And thankfully, we don't use fuel when we're at the surface. And now we're getting $725. Great. And the further down we go, the better things there will be. Ooh, there's some silver right here. I might start forgoing some of this other stuff so I can get the more expensive ores. But I should also back up a bit because I didn't realize how many ores were just chilling out right here. We'll skip over the coal and then just dig right on down, get the silver. And hopefully, we're earning more money each time. Yeah, $950. I love that so much. That means we have enough for some upgrades. We should probably upgrade the storage tank so we can collect some more ores. This one has a capacity of 16, but this one has a capacity of 20. It is heavier. I'm not sure what the difference is, but we'll buy it. I suppose we'll need a bigger chassis to get heavier equipment, but this will do us good for right now. Now, where is the good stuff? Ooh, that looks like gold over there. Oh, I forgot to buy fuel. Gotta get back quickly. Thankfully, the surface isn't too far away. We're only really like 200 feet deep. Okay, problem though. We can't get to the gold right now. We'll have to start digging from somewhere above. At least we can still get all of this good stuff down here and we have a lot more cargo space to work with which i'm a big fan of just have to keep a constant eye on the fuel gauge so we don't get locked underground here by our own ignorance and i really wish i could get over there oh well i'll collect what i can and i think it's time to head back because digging through the dirt takes up quite a bit of fuel it's blaring at me but we made it we're fine and we made 950 dollars again Sweet. Ooh, I didn't realize there was ore so close to the surface over here. Let's just fuel up really quick. Tell the thing to shush. And we can just dig down right here. This is looking good. And then we'd be careful not to fall off the edge like this because there's silver here waiting for us. There's a lot of good ores over here. And we have all the cargo space in the world to collect it all. At least a good deal of it. And the return trip isn't so long either. No risk at all. Oh, there we go. We made a thousand dollars but man refueling this thing is a bit expensive now there is a shop over here so we can get some things to help us like an extra fuel tank that sounds really good we have the money to buy two of those so why not now we just have to be careful of this drop here because it is straight down we're good now i want to get to wherever depth the gold started showing up because that should be worth a lot more money but there's no reason to collect ores along the way or there's no reason to not collect them that's what i meant oh it's a rock we can't farm a rock. We'll just move on. But there's more rocks, so this is getting a little more dangerous because we don't want to mine directly under them. And we can't mine through them, so we'll have to go one down and over. And the thing is blinking at me, but we're okay. Just gotta dig on through, avoid the rock. It's blinking even faster. We're still fine because we get all the way down to near empty. And then we refuel. Beautiful. And we only filled half of our storage in that time, so this is pretty good rate of descent we're doing here. Just gotta be careful of how full it is, because we can get maybe two more things. We're also very far down. We're 
over a thousand feet below the surface. And oh, we have a radio signal. Hello? You have master controls and reached this depth. Yes, I have. Is there anything important to this conversation? Many more kilometers of rock behind, uh, below me. Yes. Oh, a bonus? Oh, he just gave me $2,000. Oh, that's amazing. I need to get up to the surface so I can use it. Just have to not get lost on the network of mazes that I made for myself. And we'll refuel the tank while we're here because it's getting very close. And just like that, we can sell our entire storage tank for $2,200. We just doubled what the guy gave us with extra so we can take the money and get some more upgrades Probably a chassis because we're at maximum weight for our tank here So there's treads up here, but there's also legs. What good are legs for a little more speed a little more power less weight And we lose vertical speed with the tracks. That's not good if we're trying to get to the surface Maybe we should get the legs so check it out, we have legs. Whoa, he's really booking it. That is incredibly fast, wow. So let's just use this new speed to get quickly underground where we, not where we were before, because this is uncharted territory. I'm guessing the lighter weight also means that we don't crash down as quickly. And I totally must have gained that silver there, but we'll move on. And I didn't buy any more fuel tanks, so I should probably get back up and change that. And it is insane how fast we move. I can barely control it. Well, we made a little bit of money from that short excursion, but we'll buy some extra fuel tanks with all the money that we had. Yikes. And this is the big hole that we've been working on, so let's continue down this way. Just gotta be careful of how quickly we're crashing down because don't want this thing to get damaged. Now, we're not in the same tunnels we had before, so progress is a little little bit slower but oh there's some good resources over here i need them thankfully we have plenty of fuel to work with so we should be able to get another full tank crisscrossing a little bit oh there's the hole that we were working on and, whoa i'm sorry there's an earthquake we have 60 seconds to return to the surface wow get out of here don't stop digging run run flee oh there's stuff being dropped Ooh, that's cool i'll worry about that later oh gosh that was almost deadly get up get up ow oh boy oh boy where's the hole Tough. Ooh. Oh, that was intense. Why did the earthquake hit so suddenly? Strange sound at the end. Something crashing? Perhaps Mr. Thompson knows what made that sound. He's just confused too. Well, let's just count our blessings and count our money that we're making. $2,400, $2,000. Excellent. And we don't even need to spend money to top up the fuel because we still have these charges left over. So we can get another upgrade. Probably a bigger fuel tank this time. And we'll need to go with the light stuff. So we're not weighing down our mech as much. And is it possible to go with the lighter fuel tank? I guess not because that also costs money. But at least we have extra fuel to work with. Now, sadly, the earthquake seems to have collapsed our tunnel networks. But this gives us a good opportunity to explore elsewhere, like over here where there's lots of resources. Hopefully that earthquake doesn't happen again for a while. Ooh, there's gold way closer to the surface. I like it. Just gonna quickly detour up here to grab some silver. These legs are working very well for our mech. Now, are we able to go any deeper or is the earthquake going to stop us again? I hope we can keep digging, but not until we empty our storage tank again, which... Ooh, we still made $2,000. Excellent. That gold sells for quite a bit. Now let's buy another fuel tank. And there's also a gunpowder keg here. That sounds like a lot of fun. We just need to dig down. This is the hole we came out of escaping the earthquake. So maybe there's some goodness waiting for us. Because there were some ores being dropped along the way. Although I'm not really seeing any. But I am seeing some old tunnel parts, maybe? I'm not too sure. There's a lot more rocks in one area, though. Not a fan of that. Although I should probably find a big empty area. Ooh, like over here, maybe. And there's a wide part down there. So let's trigger the gunpowder here. Okay, that did it. Ooh, and more gold down here is also good news for me. And there's a lot more ore closely packed together. I like the sounds of this. And I don't like the sound of the fuel tanks, but we're fine. Oh, I shouldn't have dug under there. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I guess they really don't collapse. Well, that's good. Oh, I really wish I could maneuver around these things to get the gold, but I'm probably going to have one spot left over. I can drop some inventory, though. Let's drop a piece of coal. That way we can get this copper, refuel, and then get the gold ore. I also noticed that the fuel charge didn't restore the tank entirely. 
That's concerning, but it restored more than half, so we'll just wait on using the other one as we make our way back to the surface. Oh, oh no. I totally forgot. Our mech took damage on the way up from that earthquake. So our new funds. Oh, almost $3,000. That can fund refueling the tank and repairing the hull. And we still have money left over for an upgrade. Excellent. Storage tank, I think, is good. What does upgrading the drill do? Ooh, fancy things. So the base mining rate is 60. Ooh, this one has a chance of gaining additional ore. Ooh. I like the sound of that. Look at this. It looks like we're holding on to the hands of warheads. Except we can't buy any extra fuel, so that's too bad. So we'll just be careful making our way back down to where we were, which we should be able to save a lot of fuel on the way. Having controlled descent with everything. Okay, and now we're here. Oh, and these are digging much faster. Get the gold. We didn't get extra gold, but that's okay. We're going even deeper. Reaching almost 2,000 feet deep. And, whoa, hello. It looks like a bunker's there, but the radio's contacting again. Wait a second, Nathaniel Forge? That's supposed to be this dude's father. Oh, it's his diary. Well, never mind. He went on an expedition that ended badly, and he's trapped under some rock. Okay. Okay, so now they're talking about the structure. Emergency vault for personnel in case of an earthquake. Ooh, the gate is closed now, probably because the earthquake we just had. Oh, so the door is open when there's an earthquake. So we have a little safe space. Can we, oh, look at that. There's like some circuitry in there. Let's just move around the outside here. There's the door. So let's clear the way in front of the door so we'll be able to use it when we need to. Now, sadly, I don't have a full storage tank, but I also don't have enough fuel to exhaust this one. I can get some gold a little bit at least. And I wish I knew where this thing was directly below so I could dig a better tunnel to get to it quicker. So maybe on the next dive, I'll just dig straight down wherever it may end up. And I wound up in this spot again. This is gonna confuse me greatly. But thankfully we save a lot of speed going vertical thanks to our legs. And we're here, making an even $3,000. I love it. Now I could get another upgrade, but I think it's better to actually get some of these charges, which a lot of them are not available because this is a demo. But we'll buy two of these and probably two of the gunpowders as well, because that's good for clearing out things. Now the tunnel's here. I'm thinking that the vault would have been below here. Maybe. Let's see what's left in this tunnel here. Oh, careful. There's a lot of open space still. And we are digging through the dirt a lot faster now. I like this. Just gotta be careful. Ooh, gold. Hey, that was lucky. Oh, and there's more gold over here. Pardon me while I be distracted. And we continue. Oh, there's more gold. Yes. Oh my, there's a lot of gold over here. Another bunker. I think this is a different bunker. And sure enough, it is. This is entirely new. Continue. Ah, but this one's a repeat. Some recording has gotten to all the vaults. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll just expose the entry here, wherever it may be. Oh, but that gold is separated by the stones. And I still can't dig through that. Well, this is probably a good time to use the gunpowder. Like, whoop bam Oh, except it destroys resources. Gotta be careful with that. Oh, that looks really cool in there, but I want to get it to it and I can't. Well, at least I'm exposing more bunkers for more potential goodness. I wonder if I can connect these tunnels. Oh gosh, that's an earthquake. Okay, thankfully I found a bunker. I found a bunker, time to hide. Get inside. Woo. Okay, I'm inside. I'm safe. Oh, but I probably can't stay in here because the door is shut. Ah, uh, this is bad. Oh, I got a thing. I got a thing. I got to get out of here. I shouldn't have... I hesitated way too long. Ow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ah! Fly. Fly. Refuel. Fly. Ah! Almost there. Oh, wrong turn. Fly. Fly some more. Fly some more. Ooh. That felt close, but I found a cool thing out of it. I was supposed to talk to someone, but uh, there was no one there. Hey, can I call you? Uh, okay. Study records, and they've got the impression. Okay, engineers created improvements for the mechs. That's what I thought that was. Damaged mechs left underground. Yeah. So let's turn in our storage. $3,500. That was awesome. And then we're here. Refuel. Repair. We lost half of our health there. Wow, that was rough. And so we examined the part that we found. Power shield hull. Ooh, but we need to find more parts. Okay, speaking of hull, maybe this is worth an upgrade. So we get a little more hull strength. Hey, we got some nice designs going on for our mech. And there's so much gold that got forced to the surface. Oh, I love this. Except I forgot to sell things, I guess. 
I thought I sold them all. All right, yeah, sell it. I guess I didn't sell it. Whoops. At least that means we can get more upgrades. At least the ones that we can afford, like maybe a jet thruster. Oh, that's heavy. That's too bad. But we'll just collect the gold here going from the surface while we do this is so fast now the problem is because i lost that entire network i need to find that other bunker again because those upgrades seem really worth it Ooh, and there's a lot of gold stacked next to each other i love this i'm gonna get an inventory full of gold in a little bit here those are good noises to have but an empty fuel tank is not good noises and i forgot to buy the fuel things so can we make our way back i went this way a little bit Looking good. Uh, yeah, it should be looking good. It's getting brighter. Hey, ah! Okay, there it's a full tank. Oh my gosh. 8,600 from that. That was so good. And after we buy the fuel from the maintenance station. Oh, we spent too much on that. Uh, gotta dive again really quick. Ooh, and find the gold that got shifted to the surface. Oh. <gasps> Did you see that? That is so much gold in a row. What? Oh, that, oh, okay. I need to start from the top here. This is a big payday. Look at all of that gold. I must dig all of it. Going over here. Hey, and the 10% chance to find extra stuff is kicking in. That's really good, but it also means we have a full tank already and I haven't even got everything out of this. Oh, that's wonderful. Hey, I heard you like ores have entire thing of gold. $9,600 from that. So what we can do now is get level two mech legs, which really adds weight and bigger speed. It takes a little bit more fuel, but hey, we can buy it now. Oh yes, look at these legs. Look at this speed. Wow, whoa. Okay, I guess there's no floor way out here. That's fine. I don't need floor. I need to dig. That, look at Oh my gosh, there's so much gold. I have never seen this much gold in my life and I probably will never see it again. So I'm gonna milk this vein dry. Now we're getting an entire payload of purely gold and it is glorious. Just need to dip down here really quickly, get one more. And now we're back to the surface. Run, run at the speed of, look at the speed. Oh, we got iron ore in there. Well, that's annoying, but Another $9,500 is not annoying in the slightest. So let's just get more upgrades. Another storage tank? Hmm, another heavy one for even more capacity? Actually, you know what? The biggest annoyance for me right now is a fuel tank. So we'll just get more of that. Excellent. So we have maximum fuel of 1,350. This gold just keeps going. It just keeps going. I don't know how there got to be so much gold in one spot, but I am happy for it. Only thing I'm not happy about though is how much storage I am lacking. But we are getting an excellently upgraded mech here. And with 10,000 monies to boot. Oh man, I need to get all the things before the tunnels collapse again. Ooh, the upgraded roller cone gives additional chance to get ore. I like this sound of that. It's probably gonna go through the dirt so fast too. Oh wow, that is really fast. And there's oh more gold God. down below. What happened here? Good things happened here, that's what happened. Oh man, I am so fast. And it takes like no fuel to dig through it as well. Oh man, I got ludicrous speed on my side. 10,000 every expedition we're doing. So now it's about time we got extra storage for a capacity of 32. And I know exactly what I'm gonna fill it all with. Just expanding this gigantic hole that we have here. It's a, oh my, it just keeps going. What is up with this side of the map? I kind of want to die the resources to just keep filling up on gold, but I know that's not really likely. Oh, digging through it so fast. And even more, it's glorious. And it just keeps going. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I wanna do it again. It's a good thing the value of gold doesn't go down. It actually, oh, that's right. We expanded our inventory, so we're getting $16,000 every dive over there. Oh, I need to milk that dry before the earthquake changes things. I don't even really know what other upgrades I can get, but I kind of want to wait till I have all the money in the world. I didn't even get fuel because look at how much we have still. This is wonderful. Well, now I know what I can do with 32,000 monies. I can get a better thruster, which can I get the jets? I can jet, can only thrust up. That's an issue. Oh wait, thrust, this thrust up and down? 
Huh, not too sure what the difference is, but I like the idea of jets. And we can support the weight, so why not? I could actually buy one more upgrade if I wanted to, a better hull. Oh, I can't buy that because it's too heavy. So I guess the propeller thrusters are the way to go. Just need, ooh, big and shiny and orange. I just need to be careful about, oh, how fast I'm falling here. And we just keep digging. <laughs> Okay, now the fuel is starting to blare at me. Not that it really matters, though. I am so fast. And I think we're reaching the end of the gold. Oh, come on. An earthquake? Really? That's upsetting. That's so... Ooh. Oh. Oh, maybe that wasn't such a bad thing. The gold is back. It's a glorious day. Why is this a little less? Oh, because I didn't fill it. Oh, that's too bad. Not that it matters too much, though. So now I can get the nope. leveled up lightweight hull. What? I still can't. I'm going light on all the different upgrade paths, except for the storage tank. Well, even so, our mech is looking great. And I honestly forgot that there's a whole like story with this because I just found large deposits of gold way over here. It'd be crazy if there was gold that, or if there was ore that was more expensive than this. But I probably won't find out because I'm just caught up in collecting all of the stuff over here. But I think that does pretty good for this demo. So I think I'll end the video there. Hope you guys enjoyed Ad Fundum. I know it sounds like I made that up, but that is the name of the game. And this is only a demo. So if you guys want to see more of the full game when that comes out, then be sure to let me know. Thank you very much for watching, and big thanks to Ridge for sponsoring this video. Sub to intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Lucas S, Splatter Sax, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drew Belong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, The Minor Within, DeGarity, and Sans.